Hello, my name is Joseph Ally. Welcome to my channel. And today I'd like to talk about the idea that we manifest what we are. So we don't manifest what we were. We don't manifest what we will be. We don't manifest what we want to be. We manifest what we are and what we have. So you may have heard the term I am when you're talking about manifesting. And the reason that I am is, um, is said is because we are claiming that we are something and that thing will then be manifested in this world. So everything that exists in your world today and forever before and forever after will always manifest based on what exists inside of you. And it will be shown to you and reflected to you in your world. So all the assumptions that you have of yourself, the things people have told you that you believe, the, the things that you think that you are, the things that you feel you are, the way that things work in this world, the, those things, those things that you believe, those are all constantly being manifested. And the way that this works is that the subconscious mind is, the, is a part of you. And all of your beliefs are constantly being manifested day in and day out, day in and day out. And so therefore, in order to manifest the things that you want, you must then become the thing that you want. You must embody the feelings as if you are that person now. Now notice I said, it's not what we want, it's not what we were, it's not what we will be, it's what we are. And... The reason is, is because in the exact likeness of the thing we believe, that will be copied on the screen of space, right? So the imaginal impression that we put in our subconscious, basically the consciousness acts as the light and that thing that you imagine is in your subconscious and the shadow is then manifested in this world. So... When it comes to first person point of view and imagining, when we uh, impress something on our subconscious mind through the imagination, it will be replicated exactly as it is in the screen of space. It will be the shadow, as Neville Goddard talks about. And so, if we imagine things in third person, we're watching someone. It might be ourself, but we're watching them receive the thing that we want or, or they are the thing that we want to be. Then we are then copying that scene. That scene is impressed on the subconscious mind. The consciousness um, uh, shines through it and the shadow of that will be replicated in this world, which in that case will replicate as a third party receiving the thing that you want exactly in the manner that you have imagined it. And so this applies now. now. Now, this is the fundamental though, right? All things that we believe that we are will be manifested to us. So if I believe that I am wealthy or that money comes easily to me, and for those of you who have um, used affirmations or decrees to claim who you are, I am wealthy, I am this, I am that, and you watch it begin to manifest in this world, it's because the impression of who you are is constantly being created on this world. It's not who you will be. It's not who you want to be. It's who you are. So if you take the thing that you want and you construct a scene that would embody if you are now the person that you want to be at this very moment, you step into that scene as the actor in that scene and uh, embody the feelings and emotions and sensations and what you would see and taste and touch, that scene will then be impressed upon the subconscious mind and then be manifested in this three-dimensional world. So if you have, um, if you want to make a better income or you want vacations or you want love um, or any health, anything that you want, including how you look, anything like that, if you can construct a scene that would imply that you are now that person, are now. So you take that point in time where you are that person and you simply perhaps add a little bit of time to that so that it is definitely implying that you are that person. You take that scene, 
you outline it and you, you try to give it all the sensory vividness and details as if it were reality. And you take that scene and you play it in your imagination and you step into it and think from it in, in first person point of view, feeling as if you're really there. That copy of that, those feelings you feel, that scene that you see, the things that you touch, the exact likeness of that thing will be manifested in this world. So I have a story that I want to tell you, uh, and it's from a few years back when I was um, uh, not, uh, let's, how do I put it? I was not in the best place before, right? So before I, um, I had gotten my stuff together a few years ago, I'd gotten into some trouble and uh, by the law. So I'm not perfect, right? I, I used my imaginal powers to get out of the state that I was in embodied the state that I desired to be and I am now the person that stands before you which is a completely different person in a completely different state but back then before I was doing this I'd gotten into some trouble and um, down the road I had to face some of the things that I did and I had a court case coming up and uh, it was nothing major and but it was enough to be stressed about and so what I did was I just imagined that I, like, I am not guilty. Simple. I am not guilty. And the next day, and now the court case was a while down the road, but the next day at like 5 o'clock in the morning, I had a knock at my door. It was early. I don't wake up that early. And I opened it, and it was law enforcement and they came in to talk to me and I was caught completely off guard and I did not connect this to the imaginal act that I had done the day before but they came in and they said some things to me they did a little very brief investigation and by the end they said that they were no longer investigating me and that I was good to go so it was the scene that I had done that I entered into first person where I implied that I was not guilty, that manifested in its exact likeness in a way which I had I had no idea that they had been that they had investigated me. Right, the reason they had stopped is because um, because I stopped doing the things that I was doing. Right, so and it was it's. I had no idea, but the imaginal act invoked some type of reaction in those individuals in that department to make a conclusion within that day to come and visit me and close their case. They were invoked to do that. They were, it was a manifestation that that happened because I had imagined in a first person point of view, I am not guilty. So, um, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Whatever it takes for whatever you believe to be true, right? So if I believe that I'm not guilty, this entire world will move. Any number of people will receive thoughts to take action. Whatever it takes, even myself, if I believe something, I will automatically through my subconscious, which is the thing that keeps me living, the things that helps me, you know, move everything in my body. I will be moved automatically to fulfill that assumption. If I believe that I am in, uh, so, so those of you who have trouble with relationship or like repetitive things, like people constantly leave you at a certain point or whatever the case may be, that is because that you believe something and that belief exists inside of you. Okay? Even if it's about another person, that belief exists inside of you. And so everything that exists inside of you will be manifested in this world always until that belief is uprooted and changed or until you focus on a different belief. So just remember that this has always happened forever. We have always been doing this. There's never been a time where you have not done this. There's not a specific level that you need to get for you to start manifesting. You've always done this. The biggest trick is when we're told that we are only manifesting when we close our eyes and we imagine, right? That's the only time, right? So, so with that said, it's like, 
the common belief is that before the moment you learned about manifesting, you were not manifesting. You were living your life through some carnal way and things were just happening. That's the belief. That's the belief that I used to hold until I dissected the events that unfolded in my life and then traced them back to my thoughts and my imaginal scenes. That's when I came to realize that I always was manifesting and I always will be. And it's the same that goes for you and there's no way to disprove it. So, um, and what I realized is that my beliefs were getting me into trouble. My beliefs were hurting me, keeping me depressed, making me lonely, destroying my relationships. I had these negative beliefs about myself. People treat me this way. I am this negative thing. I feel this way. This bad thing is going to happen. It always does. Those are beliefs that exist inside of us. And so anything that exists in you will be created externally. That's just how it works. So it becomes of paramount importance to identify those things which are creating neg uh, negatively and change them, right? And it's important to realize that nothing on the outside, nothing on the outside acts independently of you. So the way that you're treated, the way that your relationships are going, um, them talking to you, them not talking to you, it has nothing to do with them. It has all to do with I am. It all has to do with my beliefs, my ideas. So, it, it, like I said, it's important to take a step back and understand that it's my belief in a thing that makes that thing itself. So when I change these beliefs in myself, everything on the external will change as well. And, I mean, I have so many examples of this, which I'll share at other times, but I really hope this was uh, a useful video. So if you like this, please scroll down. Definitely hit subscribe. Definitely hit the bell icon so that you can stay tuned for more. Go to the website SovereignMind.com for more stuff like this. And stay tuned for more. Thank you.